Happy birthday. No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> so, uh, Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Frasier, Episode 5. Kelsey Grammer wasn't the first choice to play Frasier Crane. In this video, discover who was originally considered for the iconic role of Frasier Crane before Kelsey Grammer took on the part. The casting secrets and behind-the-scenes stories will surprise you. Don't miss this fascinating look at the casting process of a beloved TV character. Kelsey Grammer is back for the Frasier relaunch on Paramount+, Plus, which comes over two decades after Frasier said Seattle farewell. The whole thing was my idea. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. I mean, with my... In the newest series, Frasier returns to Boston, the setting for his origins. Grammer's original Cheers co-stars have already been hinted at by producers as possible cameos and appearances, sort of turning the tables on the actor who almost missed out on the role nearly 40 years ago. In addition to altering the course of the character, Grammer's sophisticated and sympathetic portrayal of Frasier defined a record-breaking success that would have escaped had the producers not taken a risk on the upstart. It's the part that gave him widespread recognition. Fans all across the world have praised and cherished Kelsey Grammer's depiction of Dr. Frasier Crane for almost 40 years. The character was only supposed to appear in a few episodes of the NBC mega-hit Cheers, where she had a recurring role at first. Rather, he went on to become a series regular for the remaining 11 seasons of the program before spending an additional 11 years as the lead in his own series, Frasier. For an unprecedented third sitcom, Frasier is returning. Hello, m'lady. She's not made Marion. However, adored actor John Lithgow nearly had the multi-series run. The accolades and the overall success that followed the kind but haughty doctor until indifference and an especially quiet audition altered the course of both the character and the star that brought him to life. It is impossible to overstate the popularity of Cheers, the parent series of Frasier. Even now, the season finale continues to be one of the most watched ever. The realistic environment endearing characters and most importantly, the romantic tension between Ted Danson character bar owner Sam Malone and Shelley Long character aspiring writer Diane Chambers who played a waitress captivated the audiences. A psychiatrist by the name of Dr. Frasier Crane was introduced to the romance cast of the third season of the show. Producers saw Frasier as a character who would change the dynamic between the main characters on the show. Frasier was first written as a sort of adversary for Sam, representing Diane's intellectual significance. You guys get me. <laughs> Listen, I should probably go out and make the rounds. Yes, of course, we just... But fans wouldn't have to worry for very long. Writer Ken Levine's blog claims that Frasier was only intended to appear in six of the 25 episodes that make up the season. The producers already had their ideal candidate in mind for the brief storyline. How was Kelsey Grammer chosen for the Frasier Crane role? John Lithgow, the beloved star of Terms of Endearment, was the target of the Cheers creators as they were developing the character of Frasier Crane. The well-known character actor was the intended actor for the part. But there was a problem, Lithgow was uninterested, according to an interview with The Guardian. He would subsequently say that he didn't really like the character overall and felt the role was beneath him. Since Lithgow was a well-known figure, no such position was required at the time. For another actor trying to get into the industry across the nation, the same could not be said. Kelsey Grammer, a Juilliard alumnus, worked on stage during his formative years. He worked as an intern at San Diego's Old Globe Theater shortly after graduating from high school, and in 1981, he made his Broadway debut in a production of Macbeth. After receiving negative reviews for his big stage debut, Grammer left the play early. The next year, he would make a comeback to the theater in a significant Othello revival starring Christopher Plummer and James Earl Jones. Thank you for watching.